another video. Uh, this time around, I've got a boom microphone, uh, and as it sits, the uh, oh, I'm opening the uh, this this doohickey. Uh, it was not compatible with the uh, boink. There we go with the style of microphone stand that I bought because it was cheap. So I ended up needing to machine uh, a little piece for uh, for <laughs> this is blocking my shot uh, for for this guy uh, so that I could adapt uh, from I don't know where did I put the original stand I probably behoove me to remember these things uh, so that I could save the uh, original stand and still reuse it uh, still have no idea where I put the original stand uh, which is this little piece uh, and I had to machine uh, let me see if I can get this loose there we go and I had to machine uh, uh, the, kit, the, the kit came with this adapter um, which I'm grateful for there we go. Ah, whatever. Microphone down. Pick the microphone back up. Plugging in a microphone will be so difficult. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, this piece is, uh, Is what needed to be machined. I just used a, a bolt and machined two uh, flat spots on it. I had to cut the head off the bolt right here um, and then slightly modify the original stand uh, on both sides so that it would accommodate the uh, new microphone. So that's the wrong side. So let's put this back together. And one of the reasons that uh, I went this route was because the, the microphone that I purchased came with this really neat uh, ball bearing type setup. And I wanted to maintain that. So. put this together with that in mind. Let's see if I can get this plugged in now. Did you get it? Uh, trying to get it plugged in. That's for sure. Uh, and it's it's argumentative to say the least. It's like, no, I don't want to be plugged in. Uh, I'll tighten this back up so it's not wobbling all over the place. What is it? This is the boom, uh, boom, for this microphone, hmm. which is it solved a lot of my microphone uh, issues, but it's it needs to actually be powered up to work, and for some reason that's not working. So let's see why. Let's let's use a, a different cord. in 
face down. And that goes in face down. Boink! And we should have connectivity to the microphone again. So anyway, get this out of my face. But that's the most, this is the most recent addition to the shop. And I think what I, what I want to do is I want to move the, the mount, the mounting hardware is down here and it just has a, a bench clamp. Uh, and I don't like the position of this microphone. I, I kind of want to put the microphone, uh, maybe drill a hole. I think I have in mind to do uh, a bit of machining take a chunk out of this and build a, a stand that will screw and drill like a few holes like four holes or something one two three four and uh, and a center hole to uh, accommodate the the boom arm on the microphone I'm kind of excited at the at the whole idea of that and I'm not sure if I'll get to that, to that today. Tighten you up. There. Now we're nice and tight. And I'm super curious to see uh, just how much difference the new microphone makes in the uh, audio as it picks up. Anyway, hello, and let's get right to the content, shall we? So I keep my chop saw down in here, and uh, I figured I'd photo this just because. I'll take you out of the way. Open you. Crash. Hand cleaner out of the way. Crash! Put you back in there. Uh, I've still got. Let's see. Get this angled down a little more. Still got the uh, aluminum blade in here because I was making making handles for something or another. Well, for the mill, last time I used this. So good the camera's picking this up but hopefully it's doing a pretty good job that's the I'm using the evolution um, it's a very old saw and has been quite sturdy for me All right. put the aluminum blade away at the steel blade out because that's what we're cutting today. Steel. Gotta get you lined up correctly. Probably would help. Allen 
one wrench back where it lives. This was a, I, I don't remember how much I paid for this. About, I got it on sale. It's about 400 bucks. And uh, this was bought probably 14 or 15 years ago. And it's a good saw. Uh, although it does need some cleanup. So uh, actually this whole area needs to be cleaned up. So I'll probably fire the compressor up to do that. Uh, in the meantime, uh, I'm going to rotate this around so that everybody can see where I put this thing. So let me pause this video. Hey, look. I uh, finally got around to setting that up. This is the chip tray that needs to be emptied. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and do that real quick. Now the chip tray is empty. Uh, off camera, I filed, fired the compressor, and we're going to do that again uh, to finish the uh, cleaning up of the chop saw. for the chop saw. thing I love about the steel blade uh, chop saws by comparison to an abrasive chop saw is the lack of heat buildup so there's a the little piece we just cut off the main piece uh, and I suppose next up will be some milling uh, and first some deburring I suppose so let's get to photo photo logging that Alright, 
Okay, so I'm hoping that I can avoid a lot of the uh, noisy microphone issues that I had last time around. Let's get the quill out of the way. Open you up. Seeing as we're going to drill four holes, I'm going to use some parallels. I'm not facing or doing anything fancy to this, although it would be nice if it wanted to cooperate. Do I have, you know, let's go with this face. Maybe it'll cooperate in this direction. digital readout open um, and we're not doing any machining per se we're just drilling holes so let me get the uh, I think this is three quarters yeah so got the three quarters out needs to go away and my keyless drill chuck I couldn't remember the name of it last time I posted a video needs to be installed boink and I'm using uh, R8 um, it's an R8 taper in the uh, this particular turret mill I suppose I need a, a drill bit to uh, accommodate this project, right? Um, do I have any smaller drill bits handy, or do I have to get into my big index? Probably need to get into my big index, but maybe not. Yeah, that looks like it'll do the trick. So... I lowered the speed on the mill because I had some stuff I wanted to get done the other night. Well, let's see, bring that down, tighten that up. Okay. Okay. And 
pause for a second to grab some oil. Well, this drill bit's not particularly sharp, but that's okay. Okay, well, I gotta find the center um, and the digital readout will be out of shot. But I've got one of these little wobble doohickeys uh, and I, I looked on uh, YouTube for a long time to learn how to use this thing. Uh, and I highly recommend uh, that everybody does that. Okay. So, I was I'm doing as a mechanic but the machining stuff like I have a tenth of a clue and I think that might be being liberal so again like and subscribe if it suits you and thanks for coming for a visit again <laughs>